So what did what an episode filled with dialogue? You know, we talk about Attack on Titan and dialogue, which we did get today. But today's episode was. I don't want to say it was as good as I thought it was going to be, by no means, but I still thought it was a good episode nonetheless, but it, it almost made me hate Soda's character entirely, I gotta say that, so, if Soda's actually going to go through with saying Celestia, or say, well, telling Celestia that Meteora was a traitor, like, I would have lost my mind on Soda, I would have still loved the series, don't get me wrong, but Soda, I would've, he would have been the worst character in anime, the biggest piece of crap ever, then don't defend him in my comments, because he does not deserve it. He does not deserve it. Now, the, the, the thing here is, first off, Mamika and Alice are kind of both idiots, but I mean, Mamika's, she, her, her saying, telling Magane, tell Alice what I just told you about Altair trying to destroy the world, I mean, that's not a desperation. She was dying. So, I mean, maybe she probably didn't even expect Magane to do it. Now, Alice actually believing Magane, uh, honestly, I like Alice as a character, but she is the biggest dumbass in the story. Uh, let's just, can we just say that she is the biggest, I, I guess ignorance is bliss, stupidity is happiness, I guess. I, I, Alice is the biggest, dumbest character, one of the biggest, dumbest characters I've ever seen. Just, just believes everything, and what made her think that Magani was even going to tell her the truth? There's no way I would have trusted Magani. But in, in the whole scene, a lot of people may not have got it about, you know, um, Magani talking to herself saying, you know, I get all itchy when I don't lie. It's because she actually did not lie. She just made it seem as if Meteora was, Meteora was a bad person and Alter was a good one. For example, she's like, well, um, whenever Alice asked what did you know, Mamika tell you, well, she said something about, I just wanted to stop her and the world coming to an end, and then what did she say? She said something, oh, she said the name, uh, Meteora, and then she, she started talking about Altair, so she set it up and phrased it to where it, you know, it, in chronological order, it went from stopping, I just want to stop her, and destroying the world to Meteora's name, so she made it seem as if the chronological order was, that destroying the world and then meteora and then it, the good stuff was you know and then altair so she made altair look like the good person here and so she wasn't actually telling a lie she phrased it that way but she didn't straight up say meteora she says that she's trying to stop meteora from destroying the world you know you know so she didn't actually well technically lie and so did M mamika actually die i don't think they actually die well they die from that world but you know by the way she like you know, when burst it into particles and little, like, cube things. She probably just went back to her world, in all seriousness, you know? Whenever I really think about it, she just probably went back to her world. That's probably just what happens. Whenever they die, they go back to their world, and they can't escape the world, probably. So that's probably what really actually happens. Now, thank God for Murokuji. My boy, favorite character in the story. Biggest badass. And Murokuji shows up he hears everything meteor hears everything and thank god they were there that may have been a little bit of plot convenience that they were there but thank god they were because soda was not moving this story he was just a roadblock and he was about to have celestia try to kill meteor for the love of god this man this man man this close this close to just making me hate him you know i'm glad that you let it out and i'm glad it's a tragic moment but come on we would not be like that. We wouldn't be like that. We, we wouldn't be putting the world at risk. Because uh, I did. Because I. I, quote, I guess quote unquote. Like he didn't. He did not kill. What Shamaziki or Shamaziki. He did not kill her. What he did. There, maybe there's. You know. And, and I'm. You know. Kind of like metaphor here. It's kind of like a chemical reaction. In, or a chain reaction. That led to that. But to say he did it, he he didn't grab a knife or, you know, or stab her or anything like that. He did not kill her. He, you know, it was not him. It was society and how society rejected her as a whole. And, you know, we find this was all about jealousy. That's why Soda even began to hate her, this, this girl or despise her, right? Resent her because he could not keep up with her. But to say he actually, he killed her? No, that would, that would not be true. Soda did not do that, you know? So, I mean, it, yeah, it's tragic, but he, he did not do it. You know what I mean? So, I mean... He has to realize that, but he, he does come off as a very weak mental person, let's be honest. And I gotta say, 
Magani's powers are the most overpowered powers I've ever heard. Once you fall under the spell, it's done. So it, it, he, he, you know, she bent reality. You know, Murakuji kind of like denied what she's saying, and she bent reality. And now he can never hurt her with his sword, but he can use that like ghost that he uses that can actually do damage. So he can use his other technique, but now that technique can no longer ever hurt Magane. It doesn't, it's just too strong. It's too, way too strong, man. But other than that, guys, you guys have been hexed. Make sure you leave a like, come subscribe, follow me on Twitter, X25. I gotta go get watch My Hero Academia. I'm actually probably going to get this out before My Hero Academia, hopefully. But as always, guys, you guys have been hexed. Make sure to leave a like, come subscribe, follow me on Twitter, X25. See you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.